Hi, this is Mike from BandLab. With BandLab's included instruments and effects, you can make any kind of music you like. In this video, we'll show you how to make a cyberpunk beat with lo-fi digital drums, atmospheric synths, and merciless bass. You can open this project yourself with the link in the video description. And if you find this guide useful, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be the first to know when new videos drop. I begin by setting the project tempo to 115 beats per minute and the project key to C minor. The first element I'm going to create is a drum track. I add a virtual instrument track and set it to drum pads, prints. I sequence closed hats on eighth notes with kicks on the first and third beat and snares on the second and fourth beat. I duplicate this bar out for the rest of the 4 bar clip. To duplicate notes or clips in BandLab, hold Option on Mac or Alt on Windows and drag them over. I duplicate out the 4 bar clip, and at the end of the second version, I add a simple tom fill. Next, I'm going to process this part to give it a lo-fi digital feel. I open the effects panel and add a distortion, bit crusher effect. I turn down the intensity to zero and set the number of bits to seven. This gives the drums a crusty digital edge. I then add a reverb, studio reverb setting the mix to 22%. This gives our drums an atmospheric reverb. To give me more headroom to add other elements to the mix, I turn this track down to minus 3 dB. I'm not too concerned about having a complicated chord progression for this beat, and I want to prioritize getting a cool bass sound instead. So I'm going to focus on that next. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to synths, pike. I set this track to minus 6 dB. First I create a 16th note bass line, missing out the notes on the beats which helps the kick and snare pop through the mix. I then duplicate this bar out so that it plays C for the first two bars followed by B-flat and E-flat. In the effects panel, I add a bit crusher with the intensity set to 23%, and the bits set to 8. This makes the bass sound more aggressive. I then add a modulation chorus ensemble, which gives the bass a more organic, vibrant feel. I'd like to back this bass up with a big sawtooth wave. I add a new virtual instrument track and set it to synths, saw sign. I set this track to minus 6 dB. This part plays the same notes as the main bass, but this time as long legato notes that play for the entire bar. Once again, I add a bit crusher. This time with an intensity of 0% and a bit setting of 6. I also add another chorus ensemble. Now 
Now it's time for some atmospheric synth action. So I create a virtual instrument track and set it to pads, swell pad. I set this track to minus 3 dB. I sequence a simple bass part that plays C and B flat. To make the sound more atmospheric, I add a studio reverb, setting the mix and size to 100%. This gives us a big atmospheric sound that complements the aggressive bass tones. Now I want a lead sound. I create a virtual instrument track and set it to synths, City Keys. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. I sequence a minimal lead line that plays C, G, F, and E flat. I'm going to add some effects to the sound to make it sound bigger and more involved. First I add Bit Crusher, setting the intensity to 8% and the bits to 4. I then add a Chorus Ensemble. Next I add a delay, ping pong delay, which makes the part feel a lot busier, and adds stereo movement which will liven up our mix. The last effect I add is a studio reverb. I set the mix to 78%, and the size to 100. The final musical element I'm going to add is a chordal pad. I add a new instrument track and set it to pads, Ktran pad. I set this track to minus 6 dB. I sequence a C minor 9 chord that plays for the whole 4 bar sequence. This sound is very full, but I don't want to overwhelm the other elements of the mix. So, I'm going to use some filtering to sculpt it to just a specific frequency range. In the effects panel, I add a tone multi-filter, and set its frequency to 280 Hz. This will attenuate the high end of the sound. I then add another multi-filter. Set this one to high pass mode and set its frequency to 270 Hz. This cuts out the low end of the sound. I then add a studio reverb, turning up the mix to 100%. Now it's time to add some sound effects to help with making an arrangement. I open BandLab Sounds and select the Loops tab, and enter Riser into the Text Search field. 
I drag Riser 3 126 G2 bar into the project and position it so it plays at the end of the first four bars. I set this track to minus 4.5 dB. Next, I want a symbol crash. I enter crash into the text search field and drag 14 malarkey 124 crash into the project, positioning it right at the start. I set this track to minus 3 dB. Now I have all the elements I need to make an arrangement. My arrangement starts with just the drums and chordal pad. At bar 9, the swell pad comes in. On bar 17, the lead comes in. The riser effect builds up to the drop on bar 25, where the bass line comes in. On bar 33, the lead drops out. On bar 41, I swap the chordal pad out for the lead. On bar 49, the lead drops out again. On bar 57, we have our outro, where all the musical elements play with no drum beat. Remember, you can fork this project and make your own version of it using the link in the video description. Have fun!